Today we're here delivering eggs for the Taylor's Checkerspot butterfly. It's a federally endangered species and the eggs are going to be cared for by the incarcerated women here that are involved in the program. So the whole, full process really takes a full year of caring for these butterflies. We are at the, actually the very start of what's considered the start of our butterfly season. Uh, it starts with the wild adults being collected from the field and then them laying their eggs. They will hatch into little tiny larvae. And then they go through this period of time in the summertime where they essentially go to sleep. It's called diapause. And they will sleep all the way through until January, February. And they'll start to move and wake up. And then they will actually be released out into the field and then the cycle starts all over again. So far it's been really amazing. We just got our butterflies in two weeks ago so we just started collecting eggs last week and it's really exciting. Very educational. And so the women are carefully monitoring all the environmental conditions, tracking the genetics of the parents that we've brought in so that they can hopefully be successfully released out into the wild later. So we start our day, we come in and we do environmentals, which is taking the, we have a little hobo temperature and humidity gauges, and we take the minimum maximum temperature for what it was through the night. And it just regulates on how we keep the greenhouses up to date so the butterflies can thrive. We take their nectar source, their food source, and their, and their water source, and we change them out. And while we're doing that, another technician will log how many eggs they've collected. I think we've collected in our greenhouse alone almost 3,000 eggs just in the last two weeks. So it's pretty amazing. It's an education program. So there's education and training being provided. The education and training that the women are receiving here is credit eligible for college academic credit. I think the program's really important. It's one of the programs where I feel the most stimulated, where I feel like I'm really learning something. So this program is so important for us. Statistically, if you have an education while you're incarcerated, recidivism drops and these kind of programs really make the difference. There's the aspect of caring for living things and just getting to work with living things. This expands and increases access to science education for folks that may not normally get access. I've been in the uh, butterfly program for over a year and a half now. The knowledge that to work with different animals, like it wasn't really my thing but getting to work with butterflies and why we, we do what we do with them is an amazing feeling. The trust that's instilled in them, the responsibility, they seem to really just appreciate having the opportunity to work with living things and caring for other organisms. It gives us confidence. It gives us a big jump in our self-worth. It makes us feel not like just an incarcerated person. When we come here, we're treated as equals and we, we are looked at as our potential and who we are as women, not just incarcerated people. It's a disservice not to have educational programs in our facilities. And this is an amazing program and I'm grateful and so blessed to be a part of it.